I hear good things about you, Anders. Not what I expected. From a maid, you mean? I didn't... ...say that. How else would you judge... ...me? What else am I a shining example of? I don't know. Other Fereldans lurking in Darktown? Mage or not? You... ...have a... Uh, point. I need to find my wife. Welcome Will you? What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. Useless. Why are we still paying those slugouts? You should pay someone else. <laughs> like me. I like being paid. If you can find Ninette, I will gladly pay you. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. The guards disagree. They are more disagreeable than my wife. Maybe your friend is more sensible. Her family is getting suspicious. They think I might have <clears throat> done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well... As long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. I can't imagine why she'd leave you. You're such a prize. Mm -hmm. It wasn't always like this. We were in love. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's a wrong doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan at the Blooming Rose. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter to our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. What can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? I can see why Nanette liked you. You're feisty. <laughs> A refreshing change from the pale slug I married. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. Do you think Nanette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Nanette. Sometimes twice a night. <laughs> Ghislaine's the only one who might hurt her. And he doesn't have the balls for it. Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh, there was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. Any chance Ninette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> anyway, if Ninette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. 
someone else Nanette spent special alone time with, perhaps? She always liked men in uniform. You could ask him yourself. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. I'm spe- Sirrah for coming along when you did. I am Emmerich. You're older than I thought you'd be. Nanette seems to go for the young pointy-eared sorts. What? Ghislaine de Carac's wife, Nanette. You were asking about her. Ah, Ghislaine de Carac's wife. Her disappearance interested me. I tried looking into it. However, the investigation has been a waste of time. That sort of attitude will never pay off. Ha! I was eager at first, but failure has leached all enthusiasm from me. This all started when Meren, one of our Circle Mages, disappeared. I found it odd. She was a bit older and hardly adventurous. Then I heard about Ninette and two other missing women. And you have doubts that they merely fled? I think the disappearances are connected. And I suspect foul play is involved. Don't you hate it when something goes missing? I lose things all the time. I... what? The women. They're missing, and you can't find them. Ah, right. I cannot lie, Sirrah. I tire of searching. This battle showed that I'm no longer the warrior I used to be. I know when to walk away. Here, take my findings. Perhaps you can make more use of them. I'm going back to the gallows. I'm too old for this. A foundry in Lota. I should look into that.
pile of bones. Emmerich will want to see this. And I should bring it to you. It might belong to me. your mage this was left in the foundry you mentioned in your notes I was also attacked by shades these are human bones <sighs> then there is no chance of finding Meren alive or any of the others if they're not dead watch out for a bunch of boneless women flopping through the streets show some respect my people have been slow to react but this needs official support. I will bring this to the city guard immediately. It should be enough to convince them the disappearances are worth investigating. So, Isabella, you're a captain. That's right, big girl. What of it? I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked. And you're no port authority. And you are no merchant. Ooh, scrutiny. Good day, guardsmen. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. I couldn't bring back your wife, but here's a ring. It looks pricey. Oh. Ninette's wedding ring. Yes. Look at the engraving. Forever faithful. Forever yours. Oh. Written in happier times. Where did you find it? It was on Ninette's hand, which was cut from her body. She's dead. On her hand? Oh, I see. <clears throat> well, maybe you should... Take this back. I don't want anything that might link me to her... Uh, ...death. Especially with her family asking questions. No. They're going to blame me. I just know it. Excuse me, sir. I have arrangements to make. You up, sir? Who knows? Drinks are the Absolutely. 